Good afternoon, everybody. We just sat down here on the ground up here to take a little break and let these horses rest a little bit, and then we're going to go back to videoing some. But I just want to show you all this pair here and talk about them a little bit. You want to talk about a pair of horses. These boys right here are that and everything in between. They check all the boxes. Anything you want to say that you need a horse to do, don't even ask. They do it. They're good. I can't say anything else about them. They are just marvelous. The way they handle themselves, the way they act, the way they act on the ground, the way they act in the harness, they're all around excellent 100%. Three and four year old perch and gildings. They probably could be registered. I don't know. I didn't get the papers with them because I don't care. But um, I don't really worry about the papers on a horse, especially gildings. I just worry about how the horse is and how they drive and how they are to be around. I think that's a little more important than a set of papers. But these boys right here, Stonewall is the horse closest to us. Lee is the horse on the other side. Guys, they're flashy. They're correct in every way, shape, or form from their nose to their rear end. They're good. And they're an awesome pair of horses. And I'm pleased to be able to offer them to you guys here at Haste Draft Horses and Mules. As you see, we're just laying out in the field here. I'm just lay, sitting out here laying so I can take the video and Henry and his little boy Carson's laying up there beside them. We ain't got a worry in the world that these horses are gonna take a step forward. They stand and they'll stand there all day. I've been on the phone with a customer, a good guy up in Maine. Shout out to you, you know who you are. and. Um, He's a great guy. I'm looking forward to going up and meeting him soon, selling him a team of horses. But uh, we've been sitting here for a little, about over an hour, and these horses have been standing here like this that long without any urge to move forward, just patient, just resting their legs, licking their lips, and standing there. And that's what you want to see. And I'm, I love this. This is, this is what it's all about, guys. And I'm proud to offer you this fine team, Stonewall and Lee, here at Hayes Draft Horses and Mules. Watch this video as it goes further. I think you all will be pretty impressed as well. If you are, call me. Tell me about it. If you want to buy them, call me, 606-303-5669. And if you don't want to buy them, you can call me anyway. So I'll talk to anybody on the phone. I like to talk and meet you all out there, and I like feedback. So if we're doing something wrong on these videos or something, call and tell us. So, or call and tell us if we're doing a good job. We'd appreciate it. Thank you all, and God bless, and have a great day.
All right, we've drove them a little bit here. We're gonna swap sides with them. We're gonna put the other horse on the other side and bring him around. That's another thing I'm gonna to try to start showing. Most, all of our teams, we work them either way. They'll work on either side of the pole. It don't matter, you can work them however you wanna work them. And uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna swap sides with them. And I'm just gonna show y'all a little video here of how we swap them. You see how Stonewall's just standing out there and Lee's here getting harnessed and hooked up. That's how these horses are. You don't have to worry about them running off with you. Take him over there and tell him whoa and he'll stand there. And that's how all horses should be in my opinion so i think everybody else will really like that about these teams but there you go we're going to swap sides with them hook them back up and do some driving we're going to take them to town this way and um you can take them to town the other way too i mean they they work either side of that pole you don't have to worry about nothing of that so we're going to finish hooking up our lines and hooking up the neck yoke get them ready here and we're gonna head on into town and drive them some. It's about three o'clock right now. I'm trying to wait till about four when the more busy coming home from work traffic's out on the road and the school buses and stuff to really show y'all a lot of traffic with these horses and how they perform out in the town. So, all right, thank y'all so much. We'll see you soon. No stocks needed with these boys right here. A lot of y'all always ask me, do you need stocks to shoot? Some of our horses we do put in the stock. Some horses just don't handle this, but some do. And if we can at all shoe them on the ground and work on their feet on the ground, that's the way we do it. But sometimes we do put them in the stocks. It's a lot of times a farrier's choice, you know, if he puts them in the stocks or shoes them on the ground. But this pair here, if you've got a farrier that can hold them, hold their feet and do them like this, they'll pick them right up for you, no problem, and stand right there for your farrier. We just had them shod. They got shoes on, they're ready to go, and we shot them right on the ground, as you can see here. Gentle all around with their feet. Just wanted to show you all that on some of these teams now, starting to try to show you more and picking up their feet and stuff. So, Staying good for the harness, no issues. Harness them anywhere, anytime. They're always the same every time you harness them, every time you hook them. This is that beautiful three strap bridging in and a harness here. And y'all can order this from us anytime. It's ready to go. 
We ship them out every day. Get them to you shipped out pretty much the same day. They're built and ready. So keep that in mind. Also keep, one thing I sure like about this n and harness, you know, these horses here, 17.3, they're big, you know, bigger perchins. We had these on the 16.2 pair of Belgians yesterday, the smaller pair. The n and harnesses really adjust up and down a lot, so you can use them on different horses. So if you buy this set, you're not tied to just using them on one team. You know, they adjust and do go for different teams, and that's a good, a good thing, so. This is the three-year-old horse here on the left. His name is Lee. And the horse on the right-hand side right there is the four-year-old. And his name is Stonewall. So, big Stonewall and Lee. So. Henry's fast at putting a set of harnesses on a horse. So, if y'all want to learn how to harness a set of horses this fast, come to one of our clinics. Henry can sure show you how to do it. So, he can put it on them quick. I think he could break a record. I don't know. I don't know. Would there be a world record for the quickest to ever harness a team of draft horses? I don't know. But I'd say if there was, old Henry could about hold the record. He can, if he's got a harness that's you know, adjusted and ready to go, he can put them on. I think I timed him one time a little bit shy of two minutes. So that's pretty good. This time it's going to take him about four, but he um, didn't have everything really ready and prepared right beside of him. They take the bridles with ease. You don't have to worry about them pulling back, doing anything stupid. Just unhook the lead rope, take the halter off, throw the bridle on them, and they stand there like they got sense. Very respectful team of horses. The Perchin breed has been one of my favorites for years. I just love them. I love everything about them. And this pair here is one calm, nice, honest pair of Perchin gillings. I don't know what way you guys want to go with your horses, you know it's different for everybody. Everybody's always got something different they wanna do with their teams. But I think these boys here would excel in any program that you wanna put them in. From carriage driving to, you know, weddings to events to just a farm team or they are broke to all farm machinery. Uh, we'll show you a little bit of that later on too as well. Take them to town today, drive them in the busy traffic and let y'all see everything. But. Here they are. These boys are a nice pair of horses. We're gonna hook them up to the wagon and we'll show you all that. So y'all can see here. Step right over that tongue and stand to hitch. Listen to all voice commands. One thing I gotta have a team of horses to do and every team we sell, guys, they're gonna do this right here. They're gonna stand for one person to hitch. You don't have to have a hitching rail, you don't. This is what a broke team of horses is to me. They walk over the tongue and they stand for somebody to hitch them. And they stand there till you get on the wagon and you're ready to go. And that's exactly what these horses do as well. So. And this is a nice young pair of three and four year old buildings. And that's how a team of horses should do. And that's what these here do as well. And they'll stand there till you need them to move. I mean, 
I'll stand here a little bit and let y'all see. I mean, we'll just stand here and wait a minute or two. I'm not going to stand here all day, but they would stand there all day like that right there until you go over there. They've been used their whole lives like spreading manure, driving them in the barn, say, whoa, get off and load the manure spreader. They've been used like in the produce field, working different farm implements. They've been on the highways. Now we've had them in the barn, had them blanketed, they're slick. They don't have no hair right now. They're in tip top shape and they sure are a nice looking team of horses. And we'll just let them stand there a little bit longer and kind of look around. That's how they stand, so. All right, we're gonna go have fun and go drive through town and see what we can stir up and have a good time. So I'll take you all along on the ride with us. So stay tuned. All right, it's almost ready to call it a day here. We're out here with Old Stonewall and Lee. We're gonna do a little bit of plowing with them, just show y'all how they plow. I think if we keep doing plowing videos out here in enough time, we'll have this whole field plowed maybe, I don't know. Um, now nah, these horses just standing out here. Henry's run to the barn to get a different wrench. He's gotta fix the clevis on this plow. But I just wanted to show y'all how they stand. And, Again, and just how he's hooking them up to the plow and working on it here. I can't thank you all enough for watching our videos and subscribing and liking our channel and comment all the comments. We really appreciate it. It means the world to us, and um, we sure appreciate each and every one of you all doing that. So, without you all, none of this could be possible. We. Our customers mean everything to us, and um, we sure appreciate y'all. We've been with this team all day today. We've tested them to everything we can try to show them and do. You'll see in this video, if you've watched it already, or I don't know if everybody watches it all or not, but I'm telling you, <clears throat> we've had dogs barking out the wind at them, going down the road, semis, everything. They are they're super good so let him finish getting this plow hooked up and then we'll do a little bit of plowing here in a minute this is what i was talking about though earlier today in the video you got to have a team to stand like this if you're seriously going to work horses and you know do farm work with them because there's times you got to get off what the implement you're using and work on it or adjust or you know do things like that you got to have something that'll stand and that's what we try to 
make here at our place is horses that'll do that. And um, he's gonna get them hooked up here to the plow now and do a little bit of plowing. We ain't gonna plow much, just a couple swipes and let y'all see how they work and how they work together and plow. Now this team's been in all farm machinery. The mowing machine, they've been in the big hay bind and the power four cart. They've been in the round roller with other horses hooked four and six abreast. They've been in all farm machinery. They've done it all. They even thrashed oats this past fall. So. All right, we got the batteries all charged up. Now we're heading into town. <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? <coughs> Crossing the good old Green River here in Liberty, Kentucky. River runs all the way through here in Liberty and on out down the south end of the county. Green River. want a team to take to the parade, you want a team to take to events, you want, I mean, just to drive your wife to town or the wife take your husband out for ice cream or whatever have you, you know, this team is good for that. They're ready. I mean, I would take them in any town in the United States or Canada or Mexico or wherever you want to go. I mean, this is a serious team of horses that's ready from anything from the farm to town to anything you want to put them to. And, um, I'm gonna to try to show you as much as I can before it gets dark here, this fine team of horses. 